Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you some seasonal transition ideas that we're gonna be doing around our home. So sort of just some home maintenance ideas. And I'm gonna to try to make this a series because this doesn't even begin to cover what we do when we transition from uh, summer to fall to winter. But I thought I would just start with this video and share what I did today. And, um, and then, yeah, I'm going to try to make this a series to share some of the things that we do. I want to thank the sponsor of this video, Drops. Laundry is a huge part of my home maintenance routine. And I love the convenient pods. They work amazing. Everything smells incredible. It works on large loads of laundry, compostable packaging, free of a lot of nasty ingredients. So I'm gonna share more about them when I talk about my laundry routine. I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into some of the goals that I've been trying to accomplish as we slowly transition from summer into the fall and the winter. Now, before I jump in and get started with everything that I wanna accomplish today around the house, I'm gonna start by setting the vibe. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make myself some iced coffee. So this is the decaf coffee I brewed this morning and um, I'm adding some of the spiced chai from Trader Joe's and some almond milk with some ice. And so I have like an iced dirty chai that I can enjoy while I get everything done. So that's the first thing. I also like to put in the living room, I go onto YouTube and I like to find fall, like peaceful fall music or just depending on my mood, sometimes I'll put on a movie that I've seen like a million times but I just like playing in the background but today, I just went onto YouTube and found a fall background playlist. And then I'm gonna light some candles. So right off the bat, that sort of sets the intention for me to get in the space to organize, to clean, to sort of fluff my nest, if you will. Okay, so I am a list maker. The first list that I'm gonna make is my goals for home maintenance. So some of the things that I have off the top of my head, the first being a room to room scan. I can go from room to room, sort of scan the room and decide what things need to be done in each room. And then I can write down a list. And so I'm gonna continue my list by going room to room. I write down if a light bulb needs to be replaced or a carpet needs to be deep cleaned or really anything I notice. So I do know that everything's not gonna get done in one day, but it's good to have a running list and uh, you know, any little thing that needs to be fixed. So I actually just got home from dropping the boys off at school. Whenever I get home from the morning drop off, I just reset the home. So I'm turning off all of the lights that were left on, opening windows, letting natural light come in, you know, just cleaning up, moving cups from the night before, sort of just reorganizing the house, picking up. And that's usually the first thing that I do when I come home from the school drop off just to sort of clean and organize the house before I get started with my personal routine flush the toilet the kids always forget to flush the toilet <laughs> closet is something I have to rethink every single season. I still have fun with fashion. I think I really like to participate in recycled fashion even more now. I liked it a lot when I was younger as well, but I had sort of like my phases of liking more luxury stuff and I really do prefer pre-loved items now. I shop on Poshmark, ThreadUp, Mercari, thrift stores like all of that goodness, and my closet is a revolving door. My style changes, if something new comes in, I try to donate or sell something um, just so that my closet isn't staying stagnant. I'm actually wearing and using what I have. I got these really cool uh, burnt wood wall mounts that they're those like accordion expandable coat racks or 
I mean, you can use them in a mud room, but I thought it would be a fun extension to my closet, so in my hallway. And I'm not exactly sure what's gonna go on here yet, but I just started putting a few pieces from my closet on there. Also, I'm going to start the laundry. That was one of my goals that I wanted to get done today as well. I have a lot of laundry that I have to get to every single week. That's a part of my every week routine, of course. Um, Oliver was sleeping in our bedroom on the blow-up mattress. His little brother was as well because over the weekend, he had a really bad asthma attack. We ended up at the hospital. He's fine, but uh, that night, I was really freaked out. So he slept in our room and his little brother did as well. So now I'm just sort of cleaning up that. Um, and yeah, after that asthma attack, I ordered a nebulizer, a special nebulizer, and I have everything I need in case that ever happens again because his inhaler wasn't working and it was really scary. But anyway, yeah, long story short, I'm cleaning up the room because the kids were sleeping in our bedroom and the whole room is sort of a mess right now. So I'm gonna do the bedding. I'm gonna clean up any of the cups and snacks that were sort of left in the room, but oh, also the vaporizer. I have to clean that out, disinfect that, and then put that away. So this is kind of just a part of my normal routine as well. Like things just get in shambles or get out of order because, you know, life. And so I always just come in and just sort of reorganize when I can. And that was one of my goals today for sure is just to sort of reset the bedroom and Oliver's feeling much better and everything. Make sure the vaporizer's cleaned out and put away. So besides my normal room to room list making and sort of cleaning up and tidying up, I had a lot of laundry I wanted to get done. And then I'm gonna move into seasonal illness prep. So organizing our little pharmacy or our home pharmacy for preparing for the seasonal transition when we're dealing with more illness. But before I did that, I had to get to all the laundry and try to get all of that done today. I have been using drops for my laundry. I am obsessed, these are amazing. Um, so it comes in this compostable packaging, which I really appreciate because that's hard to come by when it comes to laundry detergent. I know many of us prefer unscented and I will often reach for unscented. I do really like their scent as well. Their clean start smells amazing, but it's not that overpowering scent that sometimes you could get with detergent. It just smells incredible. It's always kind of a challenge to find that balance between something that is moving in the right direction environmentally and ingredients wise, but also works. And you know, I live with three stinky boys. One of these pods works incredibly well. I was super blown away. Um, absolutely love the result. They are made with plant-based ingredients and it's easy, it's convenient, it's less waste and it's just less in my laundry room overall, like all the giant plastic jugs and things like that. I just appreciate the compact nature of this product. I have a code for 25% off and more information in the description if you're interested that you can check out. So I also have some ironing that I have to get to and a lot of folding and putting away. So I have several hours of that. So I decided to call my mother-in-law while I'm sort of in one spot, see how she's doing, check in with her. So the next thing that I wanna do during a seasonal transition is to just check on my indoor plants. Some of them are doing really well, some of them are struggling, and it sort of depends on your situation. Some of them might have not done so well and it's time to replace them. I'm gonna do a plant revival. I'm taking the ones out of my bathroom and I'm gonna show you how I do that. Um, so, but I'm just gonna start by pulling the plants outside. A few things to look for would be roots that are growing out of the pot's drainage hole plant leaves that are turning yellow, soil that is dry or drying out more quickly than usual, or the plant is losing a lot of leaves. I like to do the plant revival outside even though they're indoor plants just because it's kind of a messy job. So I'm taking everything out of the containers. You can see here the roots have gone a little crazy so I'm just removing some of the roots. I'm going to dunk this in the water and sort of fluff it 
and then I'm going to put it back in with fresh compost as well. I like to use the cactus soil for my indoor plants. Um, it's, it's like a green bag and it says like cactus citrus. So yeah, just sort of reviving that root ball, adding some more soil. It's a little messy, but I'm gonna clean it up and then just put it back in the bathroom and see how it goes. So um, my son is practicing piano in the music room while I'm doing this, so I'm just sort of listening to him. And then, yeah, removing some of the roots only because sometimes it can get, I guess, sort of crowded in there, crisscrossed, and it's, it's not really tapping into the water the way it should be. So removing some of them, I find, is a little bit helpful. The bigger plant in my bathroom was looking kind of sad. I struggle with this plant. I have rocks on top, so I'm removing the rocks. And then I'm sort of just gonna remove that root ball because I wanna keep this. I'm gonna move it over and add an additional plant and then just trim it back um, and see how it goes. I'll keep you posted on it, but um, yeah, I'm just gently trying to remove that root ball so I don't kill the plant. And then I'm just going to uh, use fresh soil and also the older soil that was in there, sort of mix it all together. Just make sure it's you know fluffy, it's not hard, it's not compact. Those are all the things that I'm looking for when I'm trying to revive my plant. So I'm gonna dip that into the water and then just gonna put that back into the soil with the new plant, put some fresh soil in there and just sort of mix it up and um, yeah, bring it back into the bathroom. So after I'm finished, I'm just gonna clean it off because it's a little dirty, like I said, before I bring everything back into the bathroom. And it's gonna take time to see how these do, um, but I'm really excited, hopefully they do better. My mom sent me this picture of a beautiful country home with a soak tub and it was decorated. It was a little extreme, it was decorated for the fall, but I thought it was still pretty and it gave me some ideas. Uh, so I brought this chair in. Obviously, normally I'm just gonna use this when I watch my kids take a bath, but I decided to put some towels on there, some pumpkins. We have an abundance of pumpkins that we grew on our little mini farm, so I used a few of them to decorate this year. Also, we have some really beautiful like yellow and red roses in the garden, so those are really pretty to decorate with as well. So I'm just adding a few little details in the bathroom just to give it a little bit more of the fall spirit and to transition into the next season. And then, yeah, that always gets me inspired to do a fall themed pampering routine. So that will be coming soon too. Next up on my list of to-dos that I wanted to get done today was reorganizing our, our little home pharmacy. Um, like I mentioned, this past weekend, we had to make a visit to the hospital for an asthma attack. Um, you know, we're coming up on seasonal illnesses, colds, flus, things like that. It is essential for me right after I'm getting through the back to school routine 
you know, starting September, October to reorganize and rethink this area, throw away anything that's expired, organize medicines. I have my homeopathic section, my essential oils. I have my herbs and things that we like to grow in the garden to help boost our immune system. But I also have, you know, those items that you have to get up at two o'clock in the middle of the night to go get at CVS pharmacy because you're coughing your head off or you have a fever or you have body aches or whatever. I have that as well. And I also have like the oxygen meter, the thermometer. As I've grown in my mommy skin, I've learned I gotta have this on hand. Vaporizer, nebulizer, all of that is being cleaned, organized and then making a list of anything that you need that's new. Also love our essential oils and use that too for not only the vaporizer, but diffusing. I like to have my options and I like to use a combination of all of it. I'm definitely not all natural. Every mama at some point has to sort of summon her inner nurse and you know, you know your kids, you know your family. I like to have a little bit of everything, but also know when it's the right time to go to urgent care. Um, so yeah, I have the oxygen meter, I have the blood pressure monitor, <laughs> I have it all, a little bit of everything. This is definitely the time of year to reassess that part of our cabinet and reorganize and make sure everything's ready to go and we have our options. So yeah, these are just a few of the goals that I really wanted to get done as I get started into my seasonal transitioning. And I will hopefully make this a series to continue to share some of the things that I like to do to maintain the inside and the outside of our home as we transition into the next season. So huge thanks to Drops for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel, that means a lot. And it means a lot that you're watching my channel, that you comment, that you like this video, and that you subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you being here, and I'll see you very soon in the next video. Bye.